Hello, I have got three things for you to consider when look, searching for your a carrier and your carrier for your baby. I am Karen Ellis, I'm a postnatal rehabilitation coach and I also am a baby wearing exercise instructor. So, three things to consider when on your search for a baby carrier or sling for your baby. Number one consideration, is it supportive for your baby? So it's super important that your baby can be held in an ergonomic way, you have an ergonomic carrier and that means that the, the material on your carrier goes from the crook underneath one knee all the way across the thigh, the bottom, the other thigh to the crook on the other knee and that means that baby sits in this more seated position. Ideally the bottom comes down like this, I always like to think of it like an M, so the bottom comes down like this, up to the knees and then down to the feet like an M like that. <laughs> um, this means that baby can sit rather than have their legs dangle. So a narrow base carrier would just have material that goes under your baby's bottom and that would then mean that your baby's leg would dangle from the hips. This is not ideal because it's not ideal for hip development. Because their legs are dangling, <laughs> it makes it really uncomfortable for them too. So imagine if you were suspended in the air and your legs were just dangling. After a period of time, your hips would get a bit sore and achy and you'd want to put your feet up on something because it hurts to dangle for all that time. Whereas if you were suspended in the air in a seated position, you'd be much more comfortable. So it's the same with your baby. So when you're, when you're going to buy a carrier, make sure that it's ergonomic, make sure it's wide, it's got a wide base and it's going to hold your baby in this position which will support your baby and it will feel much more comfortable. It also holds them around you so it means that the weight can be distributed more so it makes it more comfortable for you too. Consideration number two when looking for a carrier is, is it supportive for you? How supportive is this swing going to be for you? So when you are looking at carriers, make sure it has got a band that goes around the waist and it's got um, shoulder straps too. So you can get carriers where there isn't this band around the waist and I would just recommend you to avoid them completely because you need this band here to distribute that weight more evenly so it is more comfortable for you. Then have a little look at the padding. So this is padding around the waist. Is the, is, the, is the waistband wide or is it narrow? Is there much padding there? Does it, is it just a strap? Is there um, good padding around the shoulders? Are the shoulders wide? Are they thin? Just have a little look and see if you can gauge how comfortable you think it may feel. The less padding, the smaller the sling, the more, the, the more you can scrunch it up into the bottom of your cramp. The more padding, the bigger and bulkier your sling is. It's also worth considering what you're going to use it for. Do you want, are you just going to use it for short trips and you want it under the buggy? In which case you might want something less padding. Is this going to be something that you're going to use for long trips? In which case you probably want to try and find a wider, you want to look for bands that are wider, um, shoulder straps are wider because it's going to distribute that weight more evenly. Now it's really individual what people find comfortable and what other women find comfortable. So other women don't. Um, you can get, so this is a blending lamp sling um, and on this the, the padding is quite flexible and, and I like that, that's my personal choice but on a sling such as a Tula and an Ogre Baby this padding is more firm and other women prefer that because it feels more supportive whereas I don't because for me it feels more uncomfortable. So it is really tricky to find what's going to be comfortable for you when you're just looking online. So I would really recommend you go and seek uh, your local sling library if you can and go and try some on. If you can't do that, if you can't get there, you don't have a local one, um, check out the returns policy on your carrier before you buy it because if you get it and it's really uncomfortable, you're going to want to return it. Or check out the second hand, um, how much they go for second hand, Could, would you get your money back on it if you decided it wasn't for you and to send it back. Okay, consideration number three when looking for a sling for your baby. Consider whether you would want to forward face your baby ever. So 
You might never want to forward face your baby. Your baby might never want to be forward face, and that's fine. You don't ever have to forward face your baby. You can carry your baby facing towards you always, and then you carry them on your back once they get bigger and heavier. So there's no need for them to be forward face, but some some parents feel really strongly that they would like the baby to forward face. Some babies actually just prefer to forward face eventually. So it's worth something to come, it's, it's worth considering whether you think you might like to have a carrier that allows your baby to forward face. And think about that now rather than buying a carrier that doesn't forward face and then having to invest in another one later. The only thing is, if you would like one that forward faces, it's tricky to find one, and there's not much choice of carriers that carry your baby in an ergonomic way whilst forward facing. The only two that I know at the moment are um, Ergo Baby 360 and a Tudor Explore. So it's a good place to start if you are sure you would really like your baby to be forward facing. If you're not, you're not, not too bothered about forward facing, um, then that gives you more choice. So just go out and have a look for a sling that is ergonomic that is supportive for your baby and is supportive for you. You are more than welcome to send me links if you want me to have a look at any carriers that you think they're buying and I'll let you know kind of what I think. Um, feel free to do that. And then once you have got yourself a carrier that is supportive and comfortable for you and your baby, why not come and join me <laughs> and do some exercise with your baby in a swing too? You can find me at karenpostrehab.co.uk and you can find out how to join in with all that if you'd like to. There are lots more videos on slings, sling recommendations, rehabilitating your body after a baby that I've made, so go and have a look at the links around this video, wherever you've got this video, to, so you can go find some more.